Until now, guys, we have been using the speed graph. But there is another graph called the valley graph that is very interesting. I would really ask you to go ahead and, you know, explore it. I will show you here a few tricks. It's very easy to use, very simple. But really, you need to be a bit more creative and it will give you some interesting results. Okay, so we have here a circle. Let's open the scale, that is S, and keyframe at 100%. Then go back, let's say 15 frames before, and I put it at zero. Okay, I will put the chain link back, and I put it to zero. Now, if you play the animation, it's very simple. It's just the circle growing. Cool. Let's select all the keyframes. I'm pressing on the scale, and then press F9 to apply an easy ease, and let's go to the graph. Now, here I am in the value graph. If you come to the second icon here, you notice you have speed graph and value graph. For the scale, you usually use the value graph. Let's select it. Now, notice the scale has two values, but you have one bar. Actually, you don't have one bar. If you remove the chain link and click on the keyframe and take it down, now you have two of them. The red one is for the X scale, and the green one is for the Y scale. If you put the chain link back, then they will work now, but they will go together, okay? So, it is really not one value, it is two values with two graphs if you remove the chain link. I'll put it back so we have only one graph. Now, let's notice exactly how we can work with this one. Let's zoom in a bit, just a bit. Here you are. Now, you have the handles here. Look what you can do. If you click on the handle and take it down, now the animation has completely changed. I press space bar to play it, here you are. You notice the speed here of the scale is totally different. Cool, that's one. Let's stop the animation and come just over here. Okay, this is the 100%, right? Notice the size. But if I use the handle, I can go above 100%. Watch this, okay? Up. Now, here it is bigger than it's supposed to be. So, actually it's gonna start growing the scale, then coming to 100%, here it's 100%, and then it goes bigger and comes down. So if you play the animation now, notice the pop. Pretty cool, right guys? Okay, now how much, how many tricks you can do here? You know, an infinity. Let's do something, for example, just like this, okay? And if you start the animation, here you are. It goes very fast and comes down. You can also play more tricks, okay? Just play with the handles here and take it down like this. It's going to reach 100% here. I play. So notice how it's going to go. It's going to grow in size, scale up to a certain value here. Then goes down, you notice, and then goes up. Here, you can play with this one the way you would like. Now here, though, I clicked somewhere wrong. It is going negative. Negative in scale is just take it in, okay? So we start from a certain value, goes in and out. Not bad. So depending on what you want to do, you can really play with the value graph and get some very nice pops. Good. Let's uh, explore something else now. Let's uh, put the circle out. Let's also lock it and take the title. This is the title over here. Of course, I need to animate it. I will animate it again with the scale. Come at 10 frames over here. I will keyframe the scale. The chain link is on. I put it at zero. And then I will come after 10 frames and put it back at 100%. Okay, let's test our animation. It's very easy, it's just gross. I will select both keyframes. I'll click on the scale. Here you are. And then press F9. I will make them easy ease. Now I can play with the graph exactly like I have done with the circle. But maybe you can be more creative. You know, take it up over here, right? Something like this. This will be a very nice title animation, for example, in the beginning. If you like it, I don't. Now, this is better. Yes. So really, you're popping out in the face of the viewer. Sorry for that. But here you are. The, so the value graph is very nice to work with the scale, and it gives you these kind of pops. Of course, I leave it to your creativity to create even more and more. So we use the scale here. Let's go and use something else. Let's go use the rotation. I'm going to use the star to do the rotation. Press R. I'll start keyframing the rotation here at 10 frames, okay, for zero, and then after some time, let's say, now let's add a second, something like this, okay, and give it, uh, for example, 180. So we have a half rotation. So I play, that's it, it's rotating. Now, select the rotation keyframes and press F9, 
they are easy eased. Let's come over here and use this bar. So if you take it up, it's going to increase the number of rotation. Notice how it's increasing over here. And let's uh, make it just like this. Okay. Now, if you play, here you are, it rotates and goes back. Pretty speedy, it goes back. Okay. You can just make it smoother. Here you are. So it rotates and goes back to itself. So it's, it's pretty interesting when you're working with the value graph, depending on what you want to do. This is uh, to do it with keyframes. You need like, I don't know, two, three keyframes to do it. Now let's stop this animation. Let's use the Y tool and move the anchor point somewhere just over here. Okay. And now let's play our animation. Let's select the rotation. So notice what's happening now. It goes up and down. Okay, it's rotating the other way, but it still works with us. Let's go to this keyframe. Okay, and instead of 180, we put 1 minus 80. And notice what's happening here. We play. Okay, like it takes, you know, a, like starting, it's taking momentum, then it goes back. Of course, using motion blur here, let's put it on the star itself, it's going to give you a nice effect. You notice? So this is actually how you use the value graph and it's pretty interesting. But you know guys, it's not gonna come just like this. You are going to tweak the animation, you're gonna play with the graph, you're gonna find your own style, you're gonna find your own pops. I just show you, it's just the tip of the iceberg. It's up to you now and up to the animation that we are going to do within this course to really refine your skills in using the graph. One thing you should do is to shy off from the graph, don't. It might seem very complicated now, but give it like five trials and you will feel so comfortable using the value and the speed graphs. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was very useful. I'll see you in the next lecture.